There's a revolution going on in home lighting. Light emitting diodes, or LEDs as they're known, have improved enormously over the last few years. The new generation includes spotlights, floodlights, strip lights, and even down lighters. But how do they deliver in practice? Let's take a look. I'm switching this 60 watt tungsten bulb to an LED opal bulb. Now it produces the same amount of light, but magically uses 80% less electricity. LEDs are great for outside use because they're not affected by the cold. Going on and off a lot won't affect their lifespan, so they're good to use with infrared sensors. And they go to full brightness immediately, which is perfect for front doors and security lights. We're in the heart of the house now. And in these bird cages, I've used seven watt clear golf ball LED lights with bayonet fittings. Now these are both decorative and dimmable, which is important in a living space like this, where you might be working at the table or having a romantic dinner for two. These bulbs really draw your eye to the middle of the bird cage. And importantly, they create these wonderful shadows, which create texture and pattern for the whole space. This particular LED bulb creates a warmer, more orangey light, which is comparable to a traditional tungsten bulb. But unlike a tungsten bulb, this bulb converts electricity into light rather than wasted heat. LEDs are now available in a range of color temperatures from cool white right through to warm white. In this side light, I've used a seven watt bulb with a silver crown. That creates a wonderful pool of light, which is more relaxing because there's less glare. And it's going to be a while before I have to get up and change that bulb because LEDs can last up to 50,000 hours, which means less maintenance around the home and more time to do the things I love. In the kitchen, it's essential to have task lighting onto the work surface when you're cooking. Now I've used strips of LED lights, but you could use a five watt bulb like this, which is super slim, and creates a really good even spread of light. Now LEDs are perfect for kitchens because they're not sensitive to humidity. So when your kettle's boiling away, it won't affect the bulb. Plus not much heat radiates away from LEDs. So your butter won't melt and the salad won't wilt. I'm replacing these halogen bulbs with GU10 LED bulbs. Halogens tend to blow after around 3000 hours and I find they get very hot and very dusty. Lights, please. But these LEDs are different. They're bright, compact, emit much less heat, and last eight times longer. And in a workspace like this, the color rendering is excellent. Think you love your old tungsten bulbs? Well, these LED globes are even better. And they go to full brightness when you switch them on immediately, which is perfect for hallways. And how often do you really want to be changing high up bulbs like this in a stairwell. With LED bulbs, you won't have to. This one's gonna be good for a decade or more. In the bedroom, you want a little bit of mood and magic from your lighting. And these vintage chandeliers are designed to give you just that. In them, we've got two different types of bulb. An opal compact fluorescent bulb over there and a clear LED bulb here. And it's the single filament in that LED bulb which makes this vintage chandelier sparkle with absolute magic. So you can see, LEDs look good. They give you instant light. They're reliable. They're durable. They give you good color rendering. And in the long run, they'll save you money. It takes a lot to satisfy an interior designer. But you know what? I'm impressed.